Okay, we still got the code. Um, we uh, re-updated the software version and I ran the power steering control module reset and it asked me to switch back to the HSCAN module and I hit OK. Still says service procedure not supported. Um, I never don't believe it ever did that in the past. But what I'm gonna do is now I'm gonna do a total reset. Reset all adaptations. Okay. It says, has been started, not supported. This one says, module reset, TCM, forced module reset. It says, not supported. Okay, now I am, um, gonna go down here and see that there are some There is a code steering angle sensor signal invalid. Gave me all these error codes and it requested me to switch back. Still giving me error codes. A lot of switching back and forth. Okay, I just got um, code that says power steering assist fault right there that's new and it's asking me to cycle the car off and then back on okay it's shutting down let's see if it goes all the way off Very confusing on this, I guess. Um, software. Get better directions. I might be able to do it. At this point, I'm just kind of keeping my fingers crossed. This is going to work. I'm going to turn it back on, and then I'm going to hit OK. A bunch of these codes came up. It says, "Please set." HSMS to MS CAN, which means switch the switch. And then click OK. It says unable to read the DTC. I don't know what that is. It says successful DTC reading, no error codes found model battery engine control module um, it says no codes on the power steering control model or the uh, brakes and it has a code of pd p100 obd system readiness test not complete dtc present at the time uh, of request malfunction in indicator lamp is off for the DTC power module powertrain control module everything else is reset the code 
the error code for the steering is no longer there. So um, let me feel my steering wheel. The power steering is now back. Okay, no more code. Power steering is back. That reset worked. Um, that was under this DTC where I reset it. Okay, there's still a code there. I'm not really sure why. I'm just running the, the reset again. It asked me to switch it back. Now there's no codes coming up, except for this power control module, side obstacle detection control module. Right. Now, that happened once before I reset it, um, and I didn't have any problems. Right now, it looks like there's an error. So I'm going to try again. The side obstacle detection control module is the light that comes in the, the rear view mirror, side view mirror, when um, there's a car there. Okay. So I switch back to MS CAN. A lot of switching back and forth. Hit OK. Comes up with this battery energy, energy control module, but no error codes found. Successful reading, no error codes found. Okay. I'm going to go back to DTC. It says no reading, error codes found. I'm going to hit this little triangle on the left. It says switch back to HS Canada, which is the right side. Hit OK. Still coming up with this error on the right side. Okay, and I just did that, and now my service advanced track has come back up. I am going to try one more time. Going to this one here. Hit. Hit. HS KMS Canada to HS Canada, which is what it is. Hit OK. Still getting a obstacle there. I don't know if my camera is dirty. But it's giving me all of these error codes. So it's going back to all of these error codes. I'm going to try one more time. Please set switch to MS Canada. I say Canada, but I don't know what that means, but it says can. Hit OK. And I still have everything. Now it's saying this code stops safely now. Interesting though, power steering is working. Okay, so I'm going to start over, turn it off. Okay, let's see if when I turn it back on the power steering fails. No 
code yet. Just the oil change warning. The power steering is still working. Okay. I'm going to take a little spin around the block and see if the power steering is still working. And um, if it doesn't, I'm going to go through the process again.